This video is going to show you how you can remove Edge from your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Now this is handy if you just don't like Edge, if you use another browser and perhaps you're fed up with Microsoft Edge taking over your PDFs and your system, or if you're running a computer that you don't want to have internet access on, or you certainly don't want the users to have internet access on. So this guide is going to show you a great script that will allow you to remove Microsoft Microsoft Edge. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can remove Microsoft Edge from your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Now, it's always a good idea to make sure that you've got a way of getting onto the internet still on the computer. So if you're just getting rid of Edge because you don't like the browser, then please make sure you have another browser installed. Something like Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Brave browser, etc. Whatever your choice, make sure you've got that installed. And just for an example, if if you want to download and install a browser, go into Microsoft Edge and for instance, just type in the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle, but the address bar at the top. Type in there google.com forward slash Chrome and then press enter or return on your keyboard. And then once this page loads, then just go to download Chrome there, the blue icon there. Then it should start downloading and then just click on open file up there in the top right. And then it'll probably say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, make sure it says Google update setup. Make sure the verified publisher is Google LLC. Click on yes if that matches and just sit back and wait for it to now install. And downloading and installing can take some time, but once it's downloaded, then hopefully shouldn't be too long after to install. And once it's installed, the box in the middle of the screen will disappear and hopefully Chrome will open. Now, what if you don't want to have a browser installed? Well, it's always a good idea to have access to a browser if you need it, just in case you do need it to do anything. So another alternative before you remove Microsoft Edge is to perhaps download a portable version of Chrome and save it to a, a USB stick or an external hard drive. So you can always plug it in if you do ever need to go on the web on the computer that you've removed Edge from. So go to portableapps.com just as it's shown there on the screen. Type that into the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle. Once you've typed it in, press enter or return. And then all you got to do is go up to this, oh, sorry, consent to uh, them using your cookie data and then go up to the search box there and just type in there the word Chrome and then search for it. And hopefully there you should now see Google Chrome Portable. Click once on that. Click on the green download just there. Accept or don't accept the uh, cookie policy and hopefully it should start downloading after five seconds. As you can see, mine's now downloaded. Once it's downloaded, click on open file just below Google Chrome Portable. Select your language from the list if it's not already selected. Click on OK, click on Next, click on I agree. Select the location you want Google Chrome Portable to be installed. So I'm going to install it on a USB. So I'm going to click Browse. I've got my USB stick plugged in. I'm going to go down here to this PC. And there you go, there's my USB drive. So I'm going to save it to this drive here, the USB F drive. So click on OK, click on Install. And then what it will do is it will download the portable version of Google Chrome and uh, and then install it to the USB stick. So as I say, whenever I need to go on the internet on this computer, I can plug this USB stick in and uh, go into the Chrome Portable version. Once Chrome Portable's installed, click Finish. And then what we can do is you can go to the USB stick. So just go to uh, the yellow folder, go into your USB drive. Mine was F drive and installed into a folder called Google Chrome Portable. So just click on that and then click on Google Chrome Portable. And then you can just browse the web whenever you plug the stick in. OK, so let's go back to removing Microsoft Edge. So what we need to do is we need to go into our browser and go to the address bar at the top of the screen. 
not the search bar in the middle, but the address bar right at the top and type in there github.com forward slash capital A, small v, small e, capital Y, small o. Pause this video if you need to write this down. Once you've typed it in, press enter or return on your keyboard and you should then see this screen here. Click on Fox just down there or if you can't see Fox, click on Repositories and then hopefully you should see Fox. Click on the word Fox and then what you're looking for here is Edge Removal. So click on Edge Removal dot bat. Once you see all this code, then click on the arrow pointing downwards just at the top right hand side of the code and you might get this warning Edge Removal bat isn't commonly downloaded. Make sure you trust Edge Removal before you open it. So click on Click on the three dots just to the right there. If you haven't got the three dots then move your mouse over the words there. Edge removal bat isn't commonly downloaded. Click on the three dots. Click on keep. Click on show more or the arrow just to the right of show more and click on keep anyway. Don't worry, this is a perfectly safe script. It's not got nothing malicious into it in it. Click on the cross in the top right hand corner to close down edge because we've got to close it down to remove it. Click on any yellow folder and then click on downloads just over there on the left. Find edge removal. Click on the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse and then left click run as administrator. It will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, move your mouse over. Yes, left click once. You'll get this black screen come up and then after a while you'll get this blue screen come up. Now, it may not look as though it's doing anything for a while, but then suddenly you'll get these things popping up on the screen. Just be patient with it. Don't crash out of it. Don't click on the cross in the top right hand corner. It's now going through the steps for preparing Microsoft Edge for removal. And there you go. Once it's removed, it will confirm Edge removed. And then it says need another browser. And it says to you, enter get Firefox. Well, if you haven't got another browser and you want another browser and you don't want Chrome, you want Firefox, then what you can do is here, you can just type in there as it says, get Firefox. But like I say, this is completely optional. If you don't want another browser or you don't want Firefox, then you can just click on the cross in the top right hand corner and come out of it. But if you do want another browser now, if you've changed your mind, you think, oh yeah, I do want another browser, then type in get Firefox, press enter, and then that will automatically download Firefox for you. So downloading is gonna take some time, but once it finally gets there, you get this setup wizard. So just click next, next, and then install. And then once it's installed, just click finish and then click on the cross in the top right hand corner of that box there and any other boxes to close down. And hopefully in a couple of seconds, Firefox should load. Now you can just skip these if you if you want. You don't have to set Firefox as your default browser or import anything or you can if you want. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to skip these steps just here. Just go through and then till you get to start browsing. And there you go. You've got at least a browser set up on the system. You can then find the Firefox setup file on the desktop, right click on it and then just click on the bin or if you haven't got a bin then click on delete. Now what if you've decided actually I want to put Microsoft Edge back? Well you can do that as long as you've got a browser on your system. So if you've got a browser open up the browser. If you haven't got a browser on the system then what you're going to have to do is go to a system that has a browser or plug in your USB. If you've created a USB with a portable browser on it, like I showed you earlier, plug that in, launch the browser. So whatever you're going to do, go into whatever browser, go to the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle, but the address bar at the top and type in there microsoft.com forward slash edge forward slash download. So that's microsoft.com forward slash edge forward slash download. Pause this video if you need to copy this down. Once you've typed that in, press enter or return on your keyboard and we should see a screen like this. And we want to find the one that says download for Windows 10 and 11. Just there, click on that and then choose your installation language. So I'm going to choose English UK and then click accept and download. So the download will begin once it's downloaded. 
If you're downloading this from another PC, transfer this to a USB and then plug that USB into the PC that you want to install it on. If you're already on the PC that you want to install it on, then just go into your downloads folder. So click on any yellow folder, click on downloads just on the left there and find Microsoft Edge setup. Double left click on that. And if the screen darkens and says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? As long as it says Microsoft Edge update and the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation, then move your mouse over yes and left click once. Edge will now start to download and install. Just be patient, it may take some time. And once it's installed, the box in the middle of the screen will disappear. So once you've reinstalled Edge, there's something else you've got to do. It's going to be blocked because the script did actually block Edge from running. So if you try and open it, just nothing will happen. So what we've got to do is we've got to, got, got to take out the registry entry that's blocking it. So click on the start button and then just type on your keyboard reg edit. That's reg edit. And then hopefully after a few seconds under best match, you should see registry editor app. Left click once on that. Then it should say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, as long as it says registry editor and the verified publishers, Microsoft Corporation or Microsoft Windows, then click on yes. So once we're here, we need to click on H key local machine or specifically the arrow to the left of it. And then we need to go down to software, click on the arrow to the left of it and then go down to Microsoft, again, arrow to the left of it, Windows NT, so scroll all the way down, it's in alphabetical order. There we go, Windows NT, click on the arrow to the left of it, click on the arrow to the left of current version, and then go down to image, file execution options, click on the arrow to the left of it, and we're looking for MS Edge. So there it is just there, MS Edge. And then what we want to do is we just want to delete that. So right click on msedge.exe and then left click delete. And then it say, are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? Move your mouse over. Yes. Left click once. That's deleted that. Click on the cross in the top right hand corner and then try open edge. And there we go. It now opens Microsoft Edge has been fully restored. So there you go, that guide showed you how to remove Microsoft Edge, the web browser that annoys a lot of people from Windows 10 and Windows 11, how to install another browser before you do that. Also set up a portable version of a browser on a USB stick, just in case you need it. And then how you can install Firefox if you need to after you've uninstalled Edge. And finally, how you can reinstall Edge and then reactivate it once again. I hope this video helped. And if it did, why not help support this channel? Have a look in the description of this video. If you're in the market for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, then please consider purchasing through the links down below. It really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to bringing these videos to you. Also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? Have a look around. I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.